knew he was fucking with somebody else because one time when I came over, he had like a purse in that hole and a brush and some edge control, some other shit. Somebody it was his sisters. Girl, who the fuck is like who do you, like who do y'all be taking me for? As far as taking a baby daddy seriously, I can't. Unless your baby mama dead, baby, I can't do it. Unless she dead, I'm sorry, but I can't. And today, as you can see by the title, we finna be doing a mukbang, and we gonna be doing a little talk. So y'all stay tuned. It's like five o'clock and i ain't ate all day so we finna go get us something to eat and i'm gonna take y'all with me we finna go to fusaclis and i'm gonna show y'all what i get let me put my seatbelt on because y'all already done bit on my ass about it so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on for y'all today it's a very bad habit you guys like wearing a seatbelt is a bad habit that you know well, not wearing a seatbelt is a bad habit that I have. But yeah, y'all, like I was saying, I go to food cyclists almost like every week. And I think they only have a food cyclist in Mobile and like another city in Alabama. But they don't have it in other states. But baby, they got the best chicken tenders. They got the best fries. They got the best everything. So that's where we finna go. Raisin Cane's ain't got nothing on them. Zagsby's, they damn sure ain't got nothing on them. So, yeah. I'm sorry for y'all who only have Raisin Canes and Zagsby's. But y'all need to go try that food sackling motherfucker. I'm gonna probably get a, um, like a five piece. Because normally I be getting like a five piece or a three piece. But I'm gonna get a five piece. If I get a three piece, I'm gonna smash it for sure. If I get a five piece, it might be some left. It might be some not. It just and yeah, you guys, a lot of y'all be seeing y'all be liking my natural hair better or y'all don't really like black and stuff like that. But I did have to install this hair because different hair companies be reaching out to me to promote different wigs. So I had already, you feel me, accepted a lot of these wigs all at the same time. But a lot of the wigs that they be won't promote it, sometimes they be black. Like they just be wanting you to promote they black wigs or whatever and you know if they pin i'm gonna wear it so i really don't be caring you know if you like it you like it if you don't you don't that's you but you know i'm gonna be constantly probably switching my shit up because if they come in with the check then i'm gonna be doing it but after this wig i don't have no wigs lined up because i had stopped accepting um wigs because i had too many and it was just too much. I had accepted like six wigs and they all wanted their shit out in one month. How the fuck I'm gonna uh, install six wigs in one month? Damn, y'all ain't even trying to let me at least wear it for a week. And I don't even wear my wigs long. I wear my wigs for like a week max. Two weeks pushing it. Like I don't really be making it to two weeks. One week, that be doing it for me. Like this wig, I got this wig installed two days before Thanksgiving. It is Sunday, and I'm already ready to take this shit out. Oh, I haven't even had it in for a week, and I'm ready for this to go. But this wig was already too dark. The girl that had installed it, I feel like she did my ball cap too dark, so my head look dark up here. And that's why I'm finna start doing my own hair. Just like not paying nobody no more because I don't know. I just don't be liking everybody wig and styles. Like everybody don't meet my standards. So I'd rather just do this shit on my own for free rather than pay somebody for them to do some shit that I don't like. At least if I do some, at least it's me doing it myself and it's free and I don't care. But it's like when you paying somebody, you feel me? Like, damn, you couldn't, you feel me? Like, it's certain things that I know I know how to do better. I know for a fact I know how to match my scalp better than hairstylists because they always do my cap too dark. So I be feeling like when I do my hair, it look a little more natural, just like the lace. Not necessarily like the plucking and how it's laid, but 
just like this the the bob cap that'd be a big deal for me like the bob cap be a really big deal for me and they don't be getting it right and i don't really understand that because if anything your scalp's supposed to be lighter than your face so if anything i'd rather somebody put like white foundation or too light a foundation on my scalp rather than putting too dark because then when it's too dark it just make my lace like you can really see the lace you can really tell like i just don't be here for it so yeah all right y'all so i just made it to fusaklis i'm gonna get back with y'all when i'm ordering my food i'm in line gonna listen to some music and i'll be right back all right y'all so i'm finna get the box with oh shit here they go let me yeah y'all i be getting the box with queso cheese and bacon on my fries with the chicken tenders dipped in kung fu sauce with a half tea half lemonade with a ranch with a kung fu sauce so when i get my food i'll be right back and yeah, all that was 13 dollars i think i'm gonna pull right over here once i get my food because the sun gonna go down y'all i hate this new time change comment down below how y'all feel about the time change? I hate it, like, very much. Mm -hmm. Smells good, boy. Thank you. All right, y'all, I'm gonna pull right here cause the last bit of the sun is right here before it get dark. And we're gonna try to hurry up and get into this food. Y'all, is this line even good? Cause I feel like it's not. Mm, it's good. This is a good spot. All right, y'all. So I'm outside of Pusaklis. But y'all, here got my food. We finna see. She ain't even dip my motherfucking tenders. Oh, hell no. I know that shit on them. Bruh, the first thing I fucking told this bitch was kung fu. I can't eat no dry ass tenders. Like, I need my kung fu sauce. So now I gotta go inside. Let me see how long the line is. I'm just gonna go in there, y'all, because now they got me fucked up. Because, bitch. I told you I had Kung Fu on my tenders. And you try to play me like a lame. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Baby, one thing about it. That has tea, had lemonade, ain't nothing to play with. But we finna go in this stove and get them to make my shit right. And they need to give me a, a new brand new plate. Or y'all could just do my tenders. I ain't even gonna do too much. I'm not even gonna do too much. It's the point that I really told her. And she ain't do it. So, come on, y'all. All right, y'all. They fixed it for me. It's cold. It's a... Y'all, it's so cold out here. I did not even know I was gonna get out the car. So, I got on this little ass top. Okay. We back riding this bitch. So. All right, y'all. I'm finna show y'all the food now that they got it right. Cause before it wasn't given, now it's given. Okay, yeah. Y'all finna be like, why we don't got no pusaklis in our city? I'm trying to tell y'all, but hold on. Let me put the toast. I'm gonna put the toast right here. Trying. To tell y'all, do not play with them folk. Y'all see them tenders. Y'all see them fries. Hold on. Let me move the um, toast so y'all can get a better look up on these fries and the tenders. So we finna get into this food today. 
I just wanted to talk about like what I've been feeling like, what I've been going through. I want to start doing mukbangs and having like talks with y'all. So we finna pray for this food real quick, pray with this food for our target, and then we gonna get to it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let me get into this tundra. But yeah, y'all at Food Sacklist. Um, you can get your tenders dipped in kung fu, buffalo, honey mustard, ranch, or food sauce. So, but I, my favorite is kung fu sauce because it tastes like a um. Clean, spicy type of deal today i want to talk about like how to know when a dude really like you and how to know how to know if somebody there for you when it's time to leave like just have a little talk like that as y'all know i'm single i've been single for a year and almost about like four months so I've been single about a year and a half and you know as I've been single and you know from being in a relationship to being single to you know finding myself I didn't like discovered a lot learned a lot peeped a lot and like really knowing my worth knowing like how to tell if a dude like bullshit and like just being more aware and like you know, just really being aware of what's going on, what you get yourself into. So, I just want to share that with y'all. Like, but y'all, a lot of girls don't really be knowing when, like, a dude really like them or when they trying to play them or, you know. So, we just going to talk about it. So, I feel like, boom. When I first became single, I mean, I ain't fuck with nobody, like, I was celibate for a long ass time. After me and the dude had broke up or whatever, um, I just really ain't want to be in another relationship. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was really scarred and just trying to like focus on myself, get myself back right, get my mental health back right, and like really just heal. So you know, I would be cool with people, you know, chop it up with people, smoke with people, fuck with people, or whatever. And, you know, of course, like, pretty much every dude gonna try to fuck with you. Like, if you just chilling with a dude, they gonna try to fuck with you most of the time. And a lot of the dudes that I was cool with, like, you know, we just strictly cool. I end up finding out, you know, they might have had a girlfriend or they might have had, you feel me, other shit going on without me knowing. But keep in mind, we just cool. But whole time, they'll be trying to fuck with me. The whole time you got a girlfriend or you stay with this girl or you got this going on like i don't know what the fuck wrong with me but i feel like i don't attract nothing but niggas who already got something going on i don't never just meet somebody and they ain't got no baby mama they ain't got no ex they ain't got no nothing like every dude i be mean be having like something already going on and then it's to be the point i don't even be wanting them I don't even be trying to talk to them. I don't, you know, I don't shoot my shot. I don't shoot my shot. And at the time, I wasn't, you know, ready for no relationship. And they just kept on, you feel me? Like, kept on. So, you feel me? I do some digging. And I find out, bro, I had a... This has happened to me, like, three times. In the... Like, I can literally name y'all everybody that I fucked with. And majority of them had girlfriends. Or had somebody like Mobile, one of them cities, like everybody be having a girlfriend and boyfriend, but nobody will know about it. Nobody know that like this is some shit. These motherfuckers do not be public. They do not be sharing no type of posts like that they in a relationship. They shall post like they single. They shall post like talking about hoes and talking about this and that and you would never think that they in a relationship. But the people, even the even the ones that post each other and be all happy, lovey-dovey, going viral together, they be seen too. Like, be being worsome as fuck. Like, 
blowing my DM up and you got a whole bitch and you posting this hoe. And I just watched your story and I just seen you kissing that hoe and now you texting me. Like, do I look like a side bitch to y'all? Do I look like a side bitch? It just be too much going on. Like, I really don't know if I can see myself being in a relationship again. Like, and I really hate that shit for me. And I hate that shit, but this generation, I don't have no hope for it. Like, Lil Durk in India, that was literally like my last hope at anything. And Lil Durk just, he let me down. It's very hard being a female and being single and like, me saying that I feel like I don't know if I'll be in a relationship, like that shit hard because like I always been like a real fairy tale type of girl. Like, you know, I wanna get married, then I wanna have kids, and I wanna fall in love and this and this and this. But like how does fuck this shit set up now these days? Like you that shit that shit that shit really ain't gonna I don't know, like, I don't know. Mobile really didn't scar me, like, really didn't scar me, like, everybody be cheating, and everybody fuck everybody, like, that shit just nasty, and just, it just make you not want to fuck with nobody, like, that's the kind of point I'm at, because, like I said, the first year that I was, um, I had went celibate for a year, and it just showed me, like, dudes really ain't nothing. I was talking to a few people, and none of them like none of them was like bringing the energy so boom remember i told y'all it was a dude that had a girlfriend so we was fucking with each other now i was actually fucking with him i was really fucking with him and i was pulling up on him almost every day like we hanging out almost every day we talking smoking chilling he was buying me food. He was doing this and that. Whole motherfucking time, this man had a girlfriend. You got to be careful out here because I really didn't know it. Then he just be lying. Like, dudes, you cannot believe nothing a dude say. Because dudes be lying like a motherfucker. Like, if you believe, like, you can't believe nothing. Not nothing. Even if a nigga tell you he eating chicken and mashed potatoes, baby, he probably lying to your ass. He probably eating Waffle House. Because dudes just be lying for no fucking reason. And I'm here to tell y'all, I have brothers, I have homeboys. A nigga will sit up and lie about the dumbest shit that they don't even have to lie about. But they still gonna lie because they a nigga. And not to say that girls don't be lying and girls don't be da 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 Because yes, I got, you feel me, friends. And I got sisters and I know how that shit go. But in my case, dudes be lying. After him, keep in mind, we never had got serious because the whole time I'm back in my head, I knew he was fucking with somebody else because one time when I came over, he had like a purse in that hole and a brush and some edge control and some other shit. Somebody here was his sisters. Girl, who the fuck is, like, who do, like, who do y'all be taking me for? For me to believe some shit like this. Your sister got her own room. Why would she, why, why? Why would it be in your room? Come on now. Be, be fucking for real. So, yeah, I started fucking with him. And then I started fucking with somebody new. And, y'all, he came around, you feel me? He was, like, being all good and shit. Like, hitting all the right spots. Doing everything that I felt like I needed. And he had a whole situation. So, it's just, like, you just really cannot trust nobody. What's so crazy, the dude I'm telling y'all about, the one that I said had a whole situation, he actually showed me I felt more than anybody that he really liked me. Like, he was calling me every single day, pulling up on me every single day, trying to make plans, like, to do shit with me. We went out a couple times. Like, we be vibing. We was chilling, vibing. And then, you feel me, he had a whole little situation going on. And then it's like, I'm the type of person, I don't compete, baby. If you tell me 
you got this or you got that. I'm not competing with that bitch. She can have you. She can have you. Like, I'm not competing. If I'm not your first and only option, then I don't want it. Then that's the same with baby mom, baby daddy. Like, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't. As far as taking a baby daddy seriously, I can't. Unless your baby mama dead, baby, I can't do it. Unless she dead, I'm sorry. But I can't. Because, like, no. I'm tired of sharing, like. I'm really tired of sharing. And it's like, even if a nigga not with his baby mama no more, at the end of the day, that's still her baby daddy. That's hers. That's her baby daddy. So, even if you make him your baby daddy, he's still her baby daddy too. I want my own baby daddy. But then again, I don't want to be a nigga first baby mama either. The first baby mama dad, then he have like 10 of them and I'm just the first one? Hell no. Nah. So, I'm going to get into how to tell... Ooh. How to tell somebody like you? So for one, I feel like you can normally tell if you like somebody. You can really tell after the first link, but it might take two or three. Also, I feel like hey, just because a dude hit you up and da da da, that do not mean he like you. If he really wants you, he gonna let you know. They gonna really let you know, like, I really wanna be with you, I really like you. Nah, just because somebody tell you that, do not mean that they serious. Basically, you just have to watch somebody and like, you gotta got them, man, fuck all that, y'all. You really, you really don't know when somebody like you. I mean, like, you gonna know when somebody like you, like, okay, when somebody like you, let me tell you this, when somebody like you, they gonna make a way for you, they gonna make a way to see you, they gonna make a way to talk to you every day, check on you they not because they already know when y'all not talking you could be talking to somebody else so a dude not gonna want you talking to nobody else they gonna want you talking to them so they gonna make sure they text you baby but y'all when a dude really like you he gonna show you fuck telling show you so like that's another thing don't let no dude be sent up texting you and calling you and telling you about how much he like you and all this and that. But then when y'all in person, he not giving it off. Like, let somebody show you before they tell you. Because that's, like, one big problem I have. A dude can tell you whatever he wants to. A dude can tell you, oh, yeah, y'all yeah, will be hard. I can see me cuffing you. You know, we'll be hard and fuck, da 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 Okay. And that he probably got a whole girlfriend. Talking like popping out with you and he got a whole girlfriend. So I feel like you really have to wait it out and consistency is what tells it all. Because the first month or two, a nigga gonna be perfect. Well, dudes don't even be perfect for a whole month. They'll be perfect for like a week, two weeks. And then they start to the show. So that you close. So my thing is wait it out. And if they remain consistent, maybe I might work. If they not consistent, then you already know. And just because something happened in somebody's life, do not excuse them treating you a certain way or distancing you or anything like that. Because if anything, hard times can bring people closer. And if somebody don't allow you to, you feel me, be there for them or try to shut you out, then y'all not meant to be anyways. But y'all, when do it like you, he gonna like, he gonna talk to you. He gonna like sit you down like, let's really do this. Like, let's stop talking to everybody. Let's cut everybody off. Let's do us. I really wanna be with you. I really wanna, you know, fuck with you, fuck these hoes, da da da. But if a nigga ain't tell you that, then baby, he don't really like you. A lot of stuff just be for the moment and... <clears throat> That's what I feel like Mobile is. They look at everything as for the moment. Like, they be fucking all these different people. And it's like, they don't even be trying to look at somebody into the future. Like, trying to find somebody. Okay, I can grow with this person. I can be with this person. Like, you know, they don't do that. It's just like, okay, we finna fuck. Then I'm finna fuck her. Then I'm finna fuck her. And then I'm finna double back and fuck her. Then I'm finna go back and fuck with my baby mama. Then I'ma stop fucking my baby mama and go fuck with her. Then so on and so forth. 
consistency, staying patient. You feel me? Don't rush nothing because true love, you don't have to rush it. And I just feel like, you know, if somebody really like you, they're going to show you. Like, they're going to... It ain't going to be you pulling up on them. They're going to pull up on you type shit. Especially, like, if you're a female and you got your own... You got your own car, you got your own apartment, you got to really watch out for that, too, because I done seen dudes who only fuck with girls off the strength. I mean, dudes will fuck with you off the strength of anything. They'll fuck with you just out the strength that you work at Food Sackman's, just the strength that you work off at McDonald's. And then when they come there, y'all can hook them up. I done seen so many dudes, like, they got this girl name saying they phone this Burger King. They got this girl name saying they phone this Foot Locker. Like, dudes are just be fucking with all these different girls off of the strength of, you know, what they can do for them. You just gotta, like, really pay attention and like really like see do this dude really like me for me or is it something that he can benefit from fucking with you i don't know what was wrong with food sex today but they weren't giving like they normally be giving so i ain't finish all my food but yeah i don't really know y'all i feel like it was not good because I'm recording or something. Because why this shit be hitting every day? And now all of a sudden it want to be nasty. And y'all want to forget my comfort. I ain't, food seconds ain't never messed my order up ever before. That's crazy. So, yeah. Make sure if y'all like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And make sure y'all comment down below what videos y'all want next. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.